Introduction It is a pleasant Sunday morning. Eight-year-old Bhavesh is walking to a nearby store to buy milk, bread and butter for breakfast. On the way, he notices water gushing out of a pipe, a common sight in his colony in the early mornings. Bhavesh is aware of the cause, overflow of overhead tanks. Bhavesh is saddened by such mindless wastage of an important natural resource. Let us learn about natural resources and their importance in this lesson. Objectives At the end of this lesson you'll be able to Define natural resource Distinguish between renewable and non-renewable natural resources State the features of different natural resources. Natural Resources A natural resource is a stock of material given to us by nature for use. It is not created by human beings. Natural resources are of two types, renewable and non-renewable. Renewable natural resources are those resources that are not exhausted by human use. They are reformed and are available for continuous human use. For example, sunlight, water, trees, etc. are renewable natural resources. Non-renewable natural resources are those resources that are limited in supply. They take years to form. They get exhausted by continuous human use. For example, coal, petroleum, etc. are non-renewable natural resources. Let us now look at some natural resources. Sunlight Sun is a star that gives us heat and light. It is an important natural resource. Plants use energy from sunlight to prepare food. Without sun, earth would be very cold, dark and impossible to live on. Air Air is another important natural resource. Air is the mixture of gases. It consists mainly of nitrogen, oxygen and carbon dioxide. Oxygen is essential for the survival of all living things. Water About 70% of Earth's surface is covered by water. Water is also an important natural resource. It is necessary for the survival of plants, animals and human beings. Soil Soil is a thin layer of earth's crust. It is formed by the breaking up of rocks into small pieces by water or wind. Soils define their texture. Some are fine, others are coarse. Soils also differ in their color. At some places they are red in color, at others black. Soil stores nutrients and water. Plants draw water and minerals from soil. Thus, soil acts as a medium for the plants to grow. It also provides shelter to ants, earthworms and other insects and animals who make their home in the soil. Forests A forest is a vast area covered with trees. It is again an important natural resource. Forests give us oxygen. Forest also helps in rainfall. Trees give us wood for cooking, making furniture and building houses. Paper is also made from trees. We also get fruits, nuts and spices from trees. Coal and Petroleum Coal and petroleum are fossil fuels which take years to form. They are made from trees which get buried in the soil. They are non-renewable because they are limited in supply and can get exhausted by human overuse. 
Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. A natural resource is a stock of material given to us by nature for use. Natural resources are of two types, renewable and non-renewable. Renewable natural resources are not exhausted by human use. Example, sunlight, water, trees, etc. Non-renewable natural resources are limited in supply. They get exhausted by continuous human use. Example, coal, petroleum, etc.